Oh man, remember City Skylines? Yeah, it's been going since 2015, and I honestly thought that Colossal Order and Paradox were done with it, at least in terms of releasing new expansion packs, but I guess not. I mean, the previous pack, Sunset Harbor, was almost two full years ago in March of 2020, and kind of out of nowhere, here is another one, Cities Skylines Airports. The 10th expansion pack, which launched on January 5th, 2022, for $12.99, a few dollars less than the usual. And as you'd expect, this time around it's all about building modular airports in designated airport zones in your city limits. And yet again, it's building on the system that's been used many times before in other expansions, like park life, industries, and campus. You know, you set aside an area to build within, you place a few required buildings, dispassionately dole out decorations, and add on building modules to increase the attractiveness rating of that zone, and then just wait for enough citizens to drop by, either sims that live in the city or tourists coming in from outside, and once enough of them do, then you'll get to the next level, and you unlock more stuff, and then you repeat that for a few times, and that's that. It's just with airports this time, so let's get into some details, starting real quick with the new maps, which it does provide uh, a nice few selection of flat-ish kind of areas in order to build airports or, you know, whatever else, but it's good for airports, and of course you can build the new airports anywhere you like, and I just prefer to build them in my existing cities because I've had them going for years. And as for the airports themselves, a good chunk of the buildings and the new stuff comes in three different styles, classic, modern, and ultra-modern. It's basically just affecting the terminals, concourses, and control towers, which you can mix and match or stick to one theme if you want to give your airport a theme. Now these airports, it's also worth noting, are also places for taxis, buses, metro, and trains to connect and integrate into the airport itself which is quite similar to some of the existing airports in the game or in different expansions, like the Metropolitan Airport, something that I quite enjoy using since it integrates so much into one. So <laughs> what do you actually get with these new airports? Well, the main advantage is that you get that same kind of functionality, but you're given the freedom to place each one of those connections exactly where you like, and you're not held to a pre-made object, and uh, <laughs> that's about it, really. Everything else that these airports do is basically the same as existing airports, with a few extra steps to make it function. And of course, whether or not that's worth grabbing an expansion to pull off, I mean, you know, that's your prerogative. As for me, I'm very much mixed on this pack overall. You know, I love the idea of airports and aircraft and adding any of that is highly intriguing, but uh, yeah, like I said, back and forth. So let's start with the stuff that I thought was good like the new buildings, they pretty much all look excellent. Especially all those unique terminals and modular buildings, and it gives a, a few different variations that are very much welcome. And I also like how when you're getting ready to set up a new airport in the first place, the painting of that zone discards the trees and flattens the entire area automatically. Something you'd need to do anyway, so this just saves on a bit of the prep work. And also combined with that is the new feature, it's very handy, where you can buy and sell soil now, so you don't have to build mountains or dump stuff somewhere else or pull dirt from another place on the map. It was just a whole routine doing landscaping and terrain editing before this, and now it's much easier. Another nice addition is the cargo air traffic, which you already had in the game in other forms. Uh, yeah, it doesn't need to be a completely separate airport now if you don't want it to be. So you can just integrate it right alongside your civilian and other aircraft in the same airport zone, which can be both a good and a bad thing depending on what kind of traffic situation you got going on, because, you know, you might be sharing runways and roads in and out. But uh, yeah, you can also drop in things like rail cargo and other types of roads specifically for industrial vehicles. In fact, you can also just straight up place cargo aircraft stands along any road, no terminal required. They'll just need taxiway and runway access. You can just make this happen pretty much wherever. Another fun but minor new addition is the Aviation Museum, a new unique building slash tourist attraction. I mean, it's just one of those. You plop it down, unique building, people come to it or they don't. It would have been nice if it did something else, like, I don't know, enable the historic air shows or air shows of any kind would have been a cool addition, but nope, it's just a building. Really, I could make the argument that the best part of this pack is starting your city airline. 
accomplished by unlocking the airline headquarters building, and then you can just start your own little business and customize it to your heart's content within the limits of what you can do. I don't know, I had a little bit of fun with it for a few minutes. You can customize your ticket prices and the color of your planes and choose from six pre-existing logos. It's kind of underwhelming in the end. I could go for an awful lot more of things to mess with, but uh, you know, I guess that's what airport tycoon games are for. And it's just kind of neat to see your own specific aircraft coming and going in the airport. And yeah, it's just a little touch of a feature that I approve of. And I'm sorry to say that that's about it in terms of the good of the pack. I found a bunch of little things that were completely missing or could have been done better and just confusing choices. Okay, so first up, the modular airports, in my view, arguably look worse than pretty much all but the most basic pre-made airports that are already in the game. At least without doing a lot of pre-planning and making sure that you have everything ready for the later levels, there's definitely some enjoyment to be gleaned from learning, designing, and tweaking your airports to get them just right, at least if you're into that kind of thing. But I found that process hard to get into here, especially because the tools aren't really fleshed out enough. And yeah, I know that your first airport or two is going to look like crap, and you can improve things with careful planning, but there's only so much you can do in terms of the way it looks and operates. For one thing, there's no contiguous apron on the airport, or tarmac at all. You know, the area in between where the planes do their boarding and parking and fueling, and onto the taxiway and runway, there's just a lot of paved tarmac area on an airport, and that's not really here. Even if you cram everything up together, it will start to connect some things, but at the end, it's still going to be loosely connected plane stands, taxiways, and runways. On that note, the taxiways themselves are just annoying to work with and rather unruly, functioning as glorified one-way roads. And another thing to note is that the taxiways, the planes reverse the entire length of them, something I didn't realize at first, and it looks extremely silly, something to keep in mind when you're designing them, make them a lot shorter if you can. Another design element that I found confusing regarding these kind of things is the fact that you can't overlap any of the runways to create perpendicular runways or cross runways, whatever you want to call them. Something that pre-made airports already have in the game and you see all the time in real life airports. Now you might think it's, oh, they don't want planes to collide or something, but clearly the simulation doesn't care about that. None of the vehicles in city skylines can collide and cause any problems. They just go right on top of each other. So why can't you cross the runways? I don't know and kind of building on the whole customizing and beautifying your airport, just making it look like a real believable airport, the fact that you still cannot place down any filler surfaces, it just bothers me more and more. I mean, it's something I've wanted since launch. Just the ability to click an empty grassy area and fill it with concrete or tarmac or something, an appropriate material, but nope, still can't do that, and I really think you need it now more than ever. As a result, most of the remainder of the items that you can place in your airport zones, like all these decorative planes and hangars and fuel depots and things that do absolutely nothing, they're just static objects that are decorative, yeah, they're all squared off and disconnected from everything else, except when they're placed right up against taxiways or other objects that kind of have a bit of a tarmac concrete thing going on around them. I don't like the way any of this comes together. And the last things on my list here are just items that are either missing or I wish worked a little bit differently. Like there's no helipad add-ons for your airport zones. You just gotta use that other pack that they came in and have those as a separate building. There are also no car parks or parking of any kind in your airport, which is really odd. There is a rental car lot that you can add via one of the three policies in the pack, but they remain completely unseen and there's no lot anywhere. It's just sims come and go in cars instead of buses or whatever. There are also no single engine planes or general aviation of any kind that you can add to this airport zone that's from this pack. I mean, you have the aviation club that existed previously in the game or as a part of another pack, but again, you just can't put it inside the airport. Or I mean, you can put it inside there, but it doesn't integrate. It's just completely separate runway. So what in the world? And for that matter, why aren't there any water runways or seaplanes or any of the stuff for your daggum harbors? I mean, <laughs> it would have been nice to pair with the Sunset Harbor pack from two years ago, but oh well. And yep, that right there is it for the City Skylines Airports pack. Something that is not worth the price, in my opinion, as if you had to ask. 
I mean, this is truly unnecessary. Of all the optional DLCs the City Skylines has gotten so far, this is the most optional to date. It's a fun little distraction for an hour or so, but by that point I'd already unlocked everything a few times over in different cities and placed all the stuff I wanted to and then just kind of forgot that the airport was even there because there's really no challenge. It's pretty self-sufficient as long as you've got enough decorations attracting people to it and that's that. I mean, at least it's $2 less than prior expansions that were 15 bucks, but eh, eh, no, just no. I trust that the last two years have mostly been spent over at Colossal Order developing a sequel, because this right here is just really underwhelming. And if Airports does end up being the final expansion pack for City Skylines, then, welp, I guess it's going out with a whimper. Or a stall. Airplanes. And if you dug this review of a city's Skylines pack, then, well, I've covered a bunch more, and I don't know if there will be any more to cover. So, uh, maybe stick around for the other LGR things that I've got coming up. There's always new stuff in the works. And, as always, thank you very much for watching.